I also wanted to show you um, some sample schedules for the week for FICPA. So this is what my schedule will be like every week. One of the really important things for parents is to look at when you're going your check-in day will be. So if your child attends Warder Hillsboro, you can expect to hear from me on Mondays. On If you're a Ewing family, Tuesday will be your day. Flemingsburg with last names A through I, that'll be a Wednesday. And Flemingsburg last names J through Z, that'll be a Thursday check-in. These check-ins won't be big, long phone calls. I will likely send you a text message for us to check in. And if you need to talk on the phone, we can set that up. I know everybody's busy. Um, and a lot of people, when I was talking, prefer text. It's okay, buddy. So that is how those check-ins will work. That will count as your child's attendance for the week. Those check-ins do. These office hours... They're Monday through Thursday, 10 to noon. Again, Monday through Thursday, 1 to 3. And Tuesday and Thursday evenings, 5 to 7. Those will be when I have open Zoom hours. And so I will send the links out for those every morning. And that's when, if your child has a question, you can hop on. We'll work it out and they can hop off. You definitely don't have to stay on the entire time. And if you don't have any questions for the day, you don't have to get on. They are just when I will be there in real time and can help answer some questions you may be having. I am also going to show you a sample student weekly schedule. These will be sent out every Monday morning. Um, I will send them out through the Facebook group, through Remind, and through email. Anytime I communicate with you, you're going to get it all three ways. So you can choose which is the best for you. And if your child is working while you are working somewhere else, you can add the Remind app or the Remind website to their device. That way they have access to those Zoom links as well. Uh, if you need any of the Remind information, just send me an email or a text and I will get that to you. So this is what a weekly schedule will look like. It will tell you on Monday, this is the reading lesson you should complete, the math, the science, the social studies and so on. On days when there are quizzes, it will just be a quiz. And then if you see here in science, you see we went straight from lesson 19 to lesson 21, there will be times that we skip lessons. So if that happens, lesson 20 would not even be available in your child's, on your child's dashboard. So if there are lessons skipped, if it doesn't give them the option to do a lesson with the number in between, that is on purpose. So you'll see it on the weekly schedule. Um, but if, if you're looking at with your child at their program, looking in school's PLP, and you see that there are lessons missing, don't freak out. It's supposed to be that way. Whether the lesson doesn't align with our standards, or it's not rigorous enough, or I've supplemented elsewhere, that those could all be reasons why we would skip lessons. So this is a week's worth of work. It will, It's all uploaded already. So if you know that you have a dentist appointment Thursday morning, and that's when you normally do, when your child normally does, their math and science is in the morning. Well, you can do Thursday morning's work on Wednesday afternoon. That way that dentist appointment Thursday morning doesn't put you behind. So by the end of the week, these will be the lessons that need to be completed. So I hope that that schedule helps everybody a little bit um, and will help your children stay, stay organized and not be quite so overwhelmed since those courses are loaded an entire semester at a time. We're only doing small chunks each week.